Hey guys, you're welcome to this episode of Naked Issues. My name is CJ. And I'm PJ. And in this week's episode, we are going to be talking about how to manage phone distractions, especially when you are with your partner. So to break it down, it's like that time that you're with your partner and they are telling you something, but you are more engrossed with some other thing that you're doing online that they feel like they are not part of your world. You know, they are right there breathing the same air with you, but they don't, they can't connect with you because you are so engrossed in or with something that you're doing in your phone. That can be very, very annoying. Very because annoying. at that point, it makes you feel like you are not prioritized. You can pay. <laughs> I know I'm guilty of it. You know, I think that... <laughs> Are you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Why, Most of us are. Why, why, why are you pulling? Like, you, you said you are now. Don't, why do you want to drag me? <laughs> you willfully admitted that you are. Allow me to feel like I'm, I'm not part of the people that have the problem. Almost, guy, we all at some point have been guilty of doing this. You know, right now, maybe you're even watching this video right now, and someone and your is, partner right is somewhere. You. Exactly. You know, so this is a great time to get them involved with this video. And don't forget to subscribe, okay? And click the notification button so that you can always be notified when we post videos. Now, getting back to the matter at hand, it's almost as if mobile phones have become so integrated into our system that one could say they have become the sixth sense. See, let's just accept it. Can we just accept it? That, see, we're all addicted to social media somehow. I mean, there's so much information there. There's entertainment there. So true. It's, it's such an escape and such a nice escape from reality. That is very true. And then you, you can interact with people. You can have a different life in a different space. And it's with a lot less pressure because... I mean, you're not, you don't have to worry about what you look like, what you sound like. You, you can just type and type and type and, you know. So, it's, we are used to it. We are here right now. This is what we're dealing with. Naked issues. We want to, you know, talk about some of the things that could actually be the reasons why people are focusing on their phones. As that, okay. maybe the real life conversation is boring <laughs> here she goes again the other day we did a video on my partner is boring and everyone now is thinking i am the boring one no this has nothing let me it's, it, it has nothing to do with him i'm just <laughs> and it has nothing to like i said it's your partner your friendship maybe at that point you know what the, what the person is saying is not just it and there's something over there, maybe a conversation online that is, true. That is much more, more engaging true. and interesting. True. We're not saying that this gives you an excuse. We're just saying that we get. So, is that your excuse for time spent away from me online? Ah, ah, ah. Mobe. <laughs> oh, I, how, you are pulling my legs on this thing. No, no, no. The point is, you say you are guilty. Me, I'm guilty. <laughs> okay. Another reason also could be because whatever is online is really entertaining social media really can be very, can be engaging. very engaging and there are tons of articles to select from that are more engaging than whatever it is you may be having with your partner at the moment it's just articles right because this <laughs> dude can watch documentaries i can't get it but apart from articles you know tiktok videos instagram Buzz balls on Twitter. There is so much life, you know, bubbling entertainment. There's just something you flip your phone and you can get lost in one entertaining video or the other. Very true. Or it could be that because of how society has now been tailored, the work you do in the office, there are now apps on your phone that can do those same work as well. The so even while you're at home, office. yes, you find yourself doing office work via your phone at home. You know, maybe there's an argument in real life. <laughs> 
and the phone is your escape. <laughs> You know, your partner is winning you, <laughs> and you know what? Words cannot handle this matter anymore. So I'm going to go silent and just focus on my phone. You know, I'm guilty of that. Oh my hey. God. He's, the, he's the king <laughs> of, you know, you, he just, his way of saying, you know what, we're, we're done with this conversation. Once he holds his phone, I get the memo. It but, means, but funny enough, um, at those moments, I'm not actually doing anything yeah, serious true, with the true, phone. I'm true. just scrolling, scrolling. True. I may not even be seeing what's on the screen. True. But it is helping me to gather my thoughts. I'm not using this as an excuse to be away from your partner anyway. So the point of this video is to let you know that we get it, okay? However, we are also of the opinion that it should be managed else it can rob you of your relationship or creating tangible moments with the people that matter, matter to, to you. you so some of the ways we are going to recommend to help in managing this i will state one um we should find ways to prioritize relationships such that you schedule times that you spend with your friends or your partners and you tell yourself that those moments are sacrosanct no mobile phone pressing. It could be 30 minutes, it could be one hour, as much as you can block so that you can yeah. invest into your friendships or relationship. Then another thing that helps is when you're talking to someone or even if you're on the phone and you're doing something and someone is talking to you, raise up your head from the phone and look at the person. It has a way of making the person feel like you are connected to what they're saying that at that time. True. Yeah. Okay, not with half mind. Let me quickly add that, <laughs> such that if the person asks you what was the last thing I said, because you are lost in the moment with your phone, you cannot even remember. And also, something else that can help is to involve the persons in what you are doing in the mobile phone. Yeah, you know, it's okay to say, sorry, I'm, I'm sending a quick message. Yes, or just give me a minute, let me respond to this person. Then you drop the phone and you're back to the conversation. Oh, look at this video, it's interesting. Or, ah... I mean, if you're finding it entertaining... Your then you can share it with your partner, yes. So instead of allowing it to become a distraction from important relationships, both of you can take that opportunity to, to bond. Yeah. You could even talk about, laugh at us, yeah, laugh, like discuss right now. what it is that you're reading about or watching. Yeah. So that way, instead of it distracting, it actually becomes a point for bonding. And this is a good time to, to just throw in there that if you're watching, kindly subscribe and click on the notification button right on your screen. So, so that, that you will know whenever we post videos of this nature. Mm. And then another thing that you could also do, and this really helps, is when you are on your phone and your partner starts to tell you something or they ask you a question. I mean, once you hear their voice, just please lift your head up and look at them look at them it has a way of making them feel like oh okay even though you're involved in what you're doing i am also important in, as well and Very you are true. you get so lift up your head respond to them look at them in the eye respond to them and if you cannot answer the question at that time you can tell them look at them in the eye and say give me a minute I will get back to you. Just hold that thought there. Give me five minutes. Let me quickly wrap this up. That way it makes them feel like, okay, 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 you get, and I'm important too. Very Don't true. do, I bet baby, but they come man. <laughs> mm -mm. Just like lift your head, look at them. Yeah. So in conclusion, PJ. Okay. We cannot deny the reality that technology has brought to us. We cannot also deny the fact that uh, life has become better or easier with the use of oh, these yeah. devices. Oh, but yeah. what we are trying to say is that you shouldn't get lost in a virtual reality, whereas people in your actual reality are starving for your attention, yeah, attention or presence. So you can give me time. <laughs> so whatever you give attention to will naturally bloom and whatever you don't give attention to will die. Will die. Will die. You should also know that it is fellowship that fuels relationships. Oh, oh my. Mm. 
the mobile phone, your mobile phone has, has already taken, replaced your camera, your mobile phone has replaced your alarm clock, your mobile phone has replaced your calendar. Do not allow it to replace your family also. Yeah, drops mic. <sighs> So, um, again, join the conversation. If there's something that you think will also help, we'd like to hear your thoughts because someone in the comment section will be gaining from your experience, from your wisdom. Very, very true. And don't forget to subscribe. And to click the notification bell. Yeah. And... For every video that we've done so far, we have PDF, PDF documents, articles, yeah. uh, show notes, things that you can take your time and read, you know, transcribed versions of what we've done.